Good evening, YouTubers. Upon further review, I, I took a second look at that pile of scrap I had on my pickup truck, and there are these clothing bars on there, and I didn't want them to go to the scrap here. They were too nice. I, I took them apart and oiled them up, and, you know, they're good to go. And this roofing shovel here, I took my angle grinder and ground the one end of the rivet off. And I'm gonna attempt to get that handle off. Get a handle on it, get a handle off it. You know, and my hardware collection was an old time nail. They made them out of sheet metal. So this should pound off fairly easy. Yeah. Okay, that came out easy enough. The wood part might be a little bit hard. But I'm thinking, what was I thinking? I gotta get better. I gotta get a better view on that. I'm not going to wolf that too tight. I don't want to. I don't want to bend the blade. Old old time railroad spike. That should be enough to. Maybe not. I gotta drive that nail in there so I can pound on it. Get in there, bastard. Maybe I shouldn't use an aluminum nail, too soft. All right, that should have a bit of a grip. Let me see, we're in focus here. Where the heck am I? Down to, yeah, right down to here. Okay. Come on. That's quite the tension fit.
I better grab another spike. That ain't doing shit. I need something long and skinny. It'll fit in there like a screwdriver if it can beat the hell. I have such a screwdriver. The gap opened up. And I split the wood. You have to bite it from the end here. I'm going to end up taking this wood out in two pieces. Cry, crying out loud here. I'm going to get my light source back. It's hindering my hammering. I'll pound this one in more. I think it's starting to emerge. And I'll spray some lubricant on there. Go through the rivet hole. an optical illusion. Now I split the wood more. I got my screwdriver stuck. Chaos. Chaos in the shop. Come on, you're going out. You are going out. Feeding you. Gotta come out in pieces. Hey, 
There she goes. More lube. Lube all. I'm going to get my chisel stuck with a wrench go. Ah. What if I'm still in frame here? I gotta back her down here. Right. Come on, come on, camera stand. Man, that should come out of there. It's working. That's the way you do it. Sweet. Sweet baby Jesus. And you want to save this part here so you know how to shape your shovel handle or whatever else will fit in there. I might have a shovel handle from before. That might work. No, that won't work. And another thing I saved, I was almost going to throw this piece here into the scrap yard. But upon further review, I thought, hey, that'll make a great, a great leverage bar. Like this thing here. One end of the pipe is round and the other is flat. So you can stick a wrench in. Most wrenches aren't that fat. And get leverage on it like that. But before I let this piece go to the scrapyard, I said, hey, that's perfect. Some guy cut it off with a, a hacksaw. I filed the inside here and, and the outside. And with this little knob on here, I don't know if this was a fence post or an awning post. That should be perfect for a leverage bar, it's got nice and heavy there. My dogs are barking, this is gonna be an extremely long video. I apologize for the length of this video. Well, I can't shorten it up or you'll, it'll, it'll take away the essence of man's epic struggle against the junk. But to further enhance the grip, I'm gonna give, give it the hockey hockey stick tape so it's less likely to slip out of your hand and this is just a PVC tape but I'm using that for filling to fill in that little mubby and we'll top it off with some cloth tape Now I got a leverage bar that can extension that can hang up on on a nail or whatever 
the device you come up with. Perfect success. God bless the YouTubers that sat through this long video.